What's up everybody? It is Friday and I didn't even know if I was going to vlog or not today, but I kind of will kind of make it kind of quick. So how my morning and day kind of started out. If you follow me on Instagram, which is at Fajita Girl, sadly I'm having to return my Nike B True Zoom Fly SPs. Why? They fit really tight. Now, this is what happens when I usually get a shoe in. You know, now I try to unbox it for you guys so you can see it live, my reaction right there. And then, you know, I try to get some dope pics of them. Of course, always, who doesn't for the gram. And because I can't actually wear, like, sneakers a lot of times to, you know, work, I'm business casual, typically, it means my shoes may take a little bit in terms of like me being able to like pull a full fit with them and rock them and put them on. And so tried them on last night with like one pair of, you know, no show socks that fit well with a lot of other kicks I have. And man, it was like a super, super tight fit. And I got my true size, which is a men's six or women's seven and a half. But there are other times, depending on the shoe, well, I will go up to a six and a half. Like I have some Jordan ones that are six and a half and you know, grade school kids, which is a women's eight and they fit just fine. I thought these would be fine because I got my epic reacts in my true size and they did not fit well so these fit they fit really tight I even tried super low I mean super thin socks today to, to just see if it would work and they don't work and here's the thing if it was like more of a bargain shoe when I maybe try to make it work I think so but the fact that I paid full retail so I paid 150 bucks plus tax on Nike of course which is 160 for me so to pay 160 for a shoe and it not fit fit well and be comfortable as F uh yeah I'm just I can't rock with it that's just that's just how it is so gonna do you know go already pro they started processing my return like if you guys ever need questions about Nike all you have to do is just if you have the app Nike plus member you can talk to Nike experts they are they are dope people great customer service talk to them already processing my return and I did get a contingency pickup this pickup has been in the back of my mind for forever I missed out the very first time this color released and then the color got scooped up by everybody and yeah it's Y'all gonna like it. Y'all gonna like it. If it comes, I'm really hoping this thing arrives before the holiday. Because if it does, you guys will get to see an unboxing of this before the holiday. Trust me, if it comes, it will definitely be a shoe I'm taking with me for the holiday. But enough talking. I need to go. I got errands to run. And then I have just some little quick unboxings to show you guys later today. Hopefully the other one arrives to show you later today. So yeah, you guys, if you stay tuned, you keep watching this, I will go ahead and show you those. Cannot wait for 4.30 to get off work. <laughs> Y'all, that is hot. It's really, really hot. But I got some errands done. And I ran in the Target with, oh, I only got the one thing I wanted. I'm pretty sure that I uh, just lost woman, women, woman points, whatever you want to call it. People use, lose their man card. I probably just lost my woman card because I went to Target for what I expected to go in there for and got just that. But I did just draw, so no. There are no sneaker pickups technically. Of course, we're going to talk a little bit later about the whole shoe thing again that I have to return, but there are no sneaker pickups, but do you know why? Because responsible, you got to have priorities. I actually just dropped off part of the funds that we have of upfront costs to the new place that we are moving, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, yeah, just dropped that off at our new lease office for the new townhome development that we are moving to, so... We're so close, we're so close, into August. Now I gotta run to Kroger, then I gotta run back home, then I gotta show you guys what I got in the mail. So, see you soon. I'm back guys, and yeah, I'm not joking, this shoe has to go back to Nike. The fit is just so insanely tight, even with the most thin socks that I own on, it's just not gonna work. Uh, so people are like, do you take the insoles out, you know? Uh, here's the thing, I paid $150 plus tax for the shoe, which means 160 I want to be comfortable in the shoe as you're supposed to wear it, which is with socks, and that's just not possible. So, I loved all the little accents of it. I mean, I'll link the original unboxing video at the end of this. You guys saw how excited I was to get this shoe. It's just not going to work. Uh, I think it's actually the most, it's the craziest looking shoe, best looking shoe. I mean, almost when you just think of how different it looks, captures attention because it is transparent it's got the different pride accents on it i loved it it's just not gonna work it sucks i do have a contingency shoe on the way though so stay tuned i will unbox that when it arrives but yeah i wore them one time i tried to get a wear i tried to see if i could make it work i can't so it's a no-go for these i will show you some things that i had that finally arrived 
Um, shout out to Fanatics, guys. Like, seriously, if Fanatics is not something, or somewhere you got shot when it comes to uh, your your the teams that you're a fan of, you're missing out. They a lot of times they have great deals, and this is the go-to place when, the, uh, you know, for sure there's, like, a championship or anything of that sort. This is... This is what you do. This is where you go. So, I actually have two different packages from Fanatics, except one I got through actual Fanatics, because that was the only way you could get it. And one I went through eBay. So, to forewarn, this is like a PSA, first off, because I've already gotten this on a comment. I think I'm an off one video, because I did an unboxing of one of my favorite teams. Uh, I've already come to the conclusion, though, that when you're a girl and you're a hardcore fan of sports, you're just going to get guys that either will say bandwagon just because you're a girl, and think you know nothing about sports, or they will say Van Wagon just because they just don't like the team. Uh, when it comes to, first off, the Yankees, there's clearly no bandwagon there. You can look at my, you know, Instagram and Twitter handle, at Fit Jeter Girl, Yankees fan to the day I die, always have been. When it comes to the Warriors, I have made it very clear. I didn't rock with a darn team prior to Stephen Clay <laughs> getting drafted. I just wasn't feeling anybody to rock with. In 2009, and when I was like, you know what, I'm going to rock with Steph. And then Clay, and they continued to build. So, sorry that all of us weren't, you know, Lakers fans prior to liking them. And all of us didn't jump on the bandwagon in, like, 2014. We went through the, you know, broke, weak, an weak ankle struggles with Steph. <laughs> and, and, you know, him being completely underrated. So, this is your PSA now. Also, if you comment down below and you say, like, you know, bandwagon, awesome. But you also gave me a view, and that's all that matters at this point, right? Alright, so, just so we got that out of the way. What do I have real quick here? That's right, because they won. You guys already know what I was doing. As soon as that sweep happened, championship shirt was a must. So this is, here is my championship shirt. So Nike, I went with the black. There were so many options. But I decided to go with this option. So it's got Warrior. She got the 16, 2018. So it's just a basic. It's not crazy. I went with the women's medium just because I have some Nike Smalls like this. And they can tend to shrink a little bit and not fit the greatest. But you know what? That's fine. And then though that was actually from Fanatics itself. And then this is... Fanatics will also sell... They have like the store on eBay too that you can buy stuff from. Um, even though it's super hot because it's summer, I still think these will be great for me to lounge around in and still go to the gym in. So these are the team fleece sweat shorts. I got a men's medium, which I think will be fine. I think I think these will fit. I could rock with these. So I like to be comfy in the summer. All right, I wanna. I will. You know, I already have a few of these that I, I walk around in a lot, but I mean. And they have different uh, teams that I found. You know, I hit a couple people up on Twitter that follow me for Celtics fans, if you're a Bulls fan, if you're a Spurs fan. You know, I do know where those are on or on eBay. So if it's something you're interested in, just comment below, and I will go ahead and I'll let you know. I'll uh, I'll drop that link to you. That way you can pick these up for your team if they have them available. Those are the only teams. There's only four teams that I saw available. I'm sure they could have more. I don't know. But guys, it's just a quick thing. Yeah, sad face. These have to go back. Uh, but I guarantee you, you will love what I ended up picking up in their place. So please stay tuned for that. If you like the video, check out some other videos. Subscribe. Hopefully you stick around and see some other stuff. Short little Friday vlog. I am out. Have a great weekend.